everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And for today's review, we're going to take a look at the new DC Collectibles Deluxe Batman Arkham City Clayface figure. And this figure is huge, possibly the biggest uh, figure that DC Collectibles has done to date. Uh, the box is definitely bigger than any of the other deluxe figures we've seen in this line. Um, it comes in that same kind of stylized window box packaging that we typically see with uh, DC Collectibles stuff. Uh, you've got the white uh, borders with the black in the corner. You've got the Batman Arkham City logo along with the name of the character. And then the figure is clearly displayed in the window box packaging. Uh, but this box is just huge. It, it is about 16 inches in uh, width and then 16 inches in height. So it is definitely a huge box. Um, on the one side of the packaging, you have a close-up image of the figure. And then on the other side, we have a look at the um, complete figure. And it tells us, again, that the figure stands about 13.5 inches high and that it's sculpted by Phil Ramirez. And then on the back of the packaging, um, we have a look at that figure, or this figure, and then some of the other deluxe figures in the line, the Killer Croc and the Titan Joker. But this one is definitely bigger than those two figures. Okay, so let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging. And I think DC Collectibles has done a really nice job with the sculpting of this figure and getting the overall look and feel of, of Clayface. This definitely looks like a character that's made out of uh, mud and like sand and, and, and such. So I really like the detailing on the sculpting for the skin and everything. Um, the line work on his chest and everything and you can see his abs. Um, but just like the texturing and everything with the skin, I think they did a really nice and job. Like on his feet where you can see like kind of like the mud uh, is kind of piled up a little bit. So one thing they did on this figure, which is kind of interesting, um, kind of cool, but maybe I think overdid it a little bit too much, was the snow and ice effect uh, that's mostly on his back um, and on his a little bit down his arms. And, and basically in the video game, you know, Batman to combat Clayface uh, throws these uh, capsules that basically f freeze freezes. Uh, play face and so I think that's what this is supposed to mimic is that freezing effect when Batman's fighting um, play face in the video game and what they've done is they've taken these clear plastic uh, blue crystal like pieces and 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 they're kind of like spikes but you know they're done with cl uh, translucent blue plastic to give you that ice effect and they've like sprinkled it all throughout his back and on his shoulders and a little bit down his arms and then they've also um, some uh, painted like with almost a white metallic for like a snow frost type look um, in between all the crystals and everything. So overall I'd say it looks pretty good. I just think maybe they overdid it a little bit, especially on his back area. Um, maybe um, almost looks like he's wearing a backpack. So I, I don't dislike the effect. I just think, you know, because it's not like he, Clayface normally has all these these spikes on his back or anything, I think maybe they kind of overdid it. But, I, you know, I definitely get what they were trying to do with it, with the, the, the freezing effect of it and all. So, you know, it doesn't bother me too much, but I think maybe if they had toned it down a little bit, it would have been better. Okay, so the figure comes with a number of accessories and features, and they give you this little uh, sheet that goes over each of the features that, that the figure has and shows you how they work. And so we'll go over them real quick. So first of all, he's got a detachable left arm. You can switch it out. So they've given you this um, extended arm piece. And the arm itself, is, this extended arm piece, is actually taller than the figure itself. It's over uh, 13 inches tall. So... Um, and it's really cool. Uh, the upper part of the arm is a hard plastic and it's made to look like the Joker, the torn sleeve of the Joker's coat. So you got that purple uh, with some like pinstripe and everything and then the, the tears. And then the rest of the arm is made with a, a, a kind of rubbery material. It's not a hard plastic um, and it's kind of bendy. So it, it, there's no articulation per se on, on the lower part of this arm actually on any part of the arm um, but but it is bendy so you can like have it kind of bend now the fingers themselves 
um, and, and like on the packaging it looks like they're supposed to be bendy they kind of do but not really that at least on my figure most of the fingers kind of you know, like when you bend them they kind of just go back into their original position so the fingers themselves are not as bendy as like the arm but but they're definitely you can move it and you can kind of squeeze it closed a little bit and everything and the detail on this sculpting is really cool as well especially like on the fingers with the fingernails and everything um, so I think they did a really cool job with that uh, now basically how it works if you want to switch the arms out is there's a button one of these crystals on his back is an actual button and you kind of kind of push on them to figure out which one it is and so and what you do is you just push that in and then you just pull pull the arm out and it comes right out and then you take the other arm and you know you just stick it into the hole and push on it until it clicks into place and once it clicks in it stays nice you know it stays attached really good and then for his other arm um, the entire arm itself is not removable but you can uh, remove his uh, his hand on this one and then they've given you an extended uh, hand basically that's uh, done like an axe piece like you see him using the video game and you just pop it into place now this arm is not as long as um, this extended arm is not as long as the left one but it definitely gives him a much longer um, reach with with the axe piece on it. and the sculpting and everything is really nice um, the you know the pla this is all hard plastic so besides the arms he also has basically two heads he's got the clay face head which is actually uh, removable it, it fits over top this um, tiny joker head so in the video game if you're not familiar basically Clayface is impersonating the joker and then once Batman discovers that he ends up turning into you know this huge Clayface body but but he transforms from basically the joker into Clayface and so they've given you this uh, miniature joker head and it's attached to it to a looks I believe a ball joint so you can move the head left and right no up or down movement or anything but um, and some nice detailing on the one side um, on the left side you've got it's more clay um, you can still see his teeth and everything but it's it's mostly clay and then on the right side is is, is the Joker um, with you know kind of some mud mixed in with the white but but definitely you can make out the Joker's face the green hair the green eyebrows the red lipstick um, the sinister smile and everything so nice nice sculpting a uh, very tiny looking it's very tiny looking but basically this is mid transformation as he's going from the Joker um, from his you know looking like the Joker into his clay face body and so then what you do is you take this clay face head that they've included and it's just a hollowed out piece it does have an articulated jaw and again some very nice detailings with this uh, head you've got the red eyes and then some nice wash work I really like the teeth how they've sculpted the teeth on it and everything I think it looks really good but basically what you do is you just fit it over top of that Joker head now my only real complaint with with that is a it does you can knock it off easily uh, when you're moving the figure around but um, the main thing I is is and head-on it looks fine you don't see the Joker head at all um, from from the one side you don't see the joker head at all um, but on the other side um, you do see some green um, from the joker's hair on the side it's not major or anything and they do say in the little instruction sheet that you know it's better to have the jaw open but it still doesn't completely cover that green that sticks out on the side on that one side so one final accessory and feature that this figure has is they've also included uh, Talia's sword. Um, this is the sword that Batman ends up using to um, cut up Clayface um, in the fight scene. And they've included, uh, the sword itself is kind of that uh, soft uh, plastic material we see with a lot of the accessories from DC Collectibles. Um, the blades 
you know, kind of sculpted, a little bit funky, but that's how it is in the video game. Um, and it's just basically a, a metallic paint for the blade, and then you've got the the gold and 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 like brown wrappings for the hilt. So it's it's pretty decent looking. Um, not super detailed like we've seen with some accessories, but but it's not bad looking. Um, and then basically what you can do is there's a little hole on his back, and you gotta kind of find it. Um, it's up here at the top in between uh, the crystals. And basically what you can do is you can stick the sword down in there. Um, so you're like sticking it in his back like, like Batman does in the video game. So that's kind of a cool added accessory and feature that they, that they added. So this figure stands at just about 13 and a half inches tall, just like stated on the packaging. Here it is next to uh, the 7 inch Arkham Batman figure. Now I think maybe the this clay face is this figure is a little bit on the tall side as opposed to what we see in the video game. I don't recall him being quite this much bigger than Batman. Close, but but I think maybe the figure is a little bit on the tall side. Certainly nothing in the way of like, you know, that it bothers me in any way, but I do do think maybe he's a little bit bigger than what we saw in the video game. Um, he is, I think, definitely the biggest figure that DC Collectibles has done to date. So, for just for some comparisons, here he is next to the Titan Joker, and he's definitely much taller than, than the Joker. Here he is next to Darkseid, um, the new 52 Darkseid, and they're pretty close in height, but Darkseid measures about 13 inches tall, and Clayface is about 13 and a half inches tall. And then finally, here he is next to the Solomon Grundy um, deluxe figure. And again, uh, Clayface is a little bit taller than Grundy. Okay, so articulation on this figure is okay. It's not great, but for a giant sized figure like this, it's not too bad. Uh, the head is just on that ball joint, so you've basically just got rotation. You can you know, have him look left and right, um, but there's no up or down movement. Um, you know, even with the outer head, you can kind of like, you know, sit it on top of the, the smaller head in, in different positions, but, but technically there's the only articulation is the rotation to the left and right. And then on the outer head, you do have the articulated jaw. Um, arms are attached with uh, standard uh, ball joints, ball hinge joints, but he can't really get his arms out very much. Um, because of the spikes on, on the back of the ar shoulders. So um, that's about as much out as you can get the arms. He does have rotation, um, so you've got good rotation at the arms. He's got the bicep swivel, and then he's got a single hinged um, elbow, but he doesn't have very much bending at the elbow with the way it's sculpted. He does have swivel at the elbow, and then with the regular arms, you've got the swivels at the wrist, but no hinges on the wrist or anything. Uh, there's no midsection articulation on this figure. Uh, ball joints at the leg, so you can do the splits about that much. He can't get his legs too forward. That's about as forward as he can get the legs, again with the way it's sculpted. And then he can get his legs back pretty good. He's got the single hinge knee, but again, like with the elbow, not a whole lot of bending at the knee. He does have swivel at the knee, no thigh swivel. Um, and then he does have um, swivel at the ankle. No real up or down movement or pivot, but he does have swivel at the ankle. And then there's no peg holes on the bottom of its feet. So that's my review. Overall, I like the detail on this figure. I like the sculpting. I like the features. I like the interchangeable arms. Um, the crystals, I think maybe they overdid a little bit, but you know it doesn't really look bad. I just think you know it. it you know it, the character itself isn't supposed to have crystals, so I mean this is supposed to be him being frozen um, by Batman. So I think they kind of overdid that a little bit on the figure, but. Still, overall, I think it looks good. Articulation is so-so, but again, that's kind of expected with these large, giant figures. Um, I like I like the sword that they included, and the um, I like the two heads. Um, though the outer head doesn't would be nice if the outer head maybe stayed on a little bit better than it does, but otherwise, I think you know it, it's a cool feature. 
So you know, definitely this is a this is a cool figure. It's definitely a big figure. You know, I think definitely I think this is the biggest figure DC Collectibles has done to date. Um, and this is gonna you know cost you a little little bit. It, it's gonna cost you about a hundred bucks. Um, but definitely you're getting a lot of figure for that hundred bucks. Um, this figure is hitting comic and specialty shops now. So if you want to add it to your collection, uh, check your your local comic book store. Um, and that's my review. Until next time, you know, as always, please leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you later.